surprised it's pitch black outside. I figured you wouldn't be able to see me, but you can. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. If you're wondering, Katie, why are you awake before five in the morning? That is an excellent question. Got a cute little friend here today. If you're new here, hi, my name's Katie. I'm an author and an editor. I have six books out currently. You're watching my second channel. This is the dumping ground for everything else, basically. I woke up at like one in the morning couldn't fall back asleep, listened to some ASMR for a little bit, couldn't fall back asleep, scrolled on TikTok for a little bit, couldn't fall back asleep, played with Dean for a little bit, eventually just got up, did a proofread of breakable things, which is my book that's coming out next month, did a cleanse of my tarot deck, like reordered all of the cards, pulled some cards this morning, and it really resonated with me actually, and I've just been kind of listening to like high vibe music, and despite getting no sleep last night, probably three or four hours, I'm in a good mood this morning. So we'll see how long it takes for me to crash. We're gonna go to Starbucks and get some coffee. They didn't open until five, so I had to wait till I got out here before I could order it. It's my own fault, honestly, for not being able to sleep. I had way too much caffeine yesterday and like way too much late in the afternoon. So I kind of knew this was gonna happen. So obviously to solve that, we're gonna go get more caffeine. That seems the most logical explanation, you know? I have much, much to catch you up on actually though. And I actually just got a ton of new makeup products. So maybe we'll do like a chatty get ready with me first impressions while I try out all my new stuff. We're gonna go get some coffee. Hopefully there's no line because it's five in the morning. But we are currently closed. That's the first time I've ever pulled up to a drive-thru and it said we're closed. They weren't closed. I was gonna be really upset if I couldn't get my coffee. So the mattress for this room is supposed to get delivered today. That'll be interesting trying to get it up the stairs myself if they don't bring it to my door. I never really know what to expect with packages in this building. Half the time they do deliver it right outside my door and then half the time they drop it off in the mailroom across the street. <laughs> so I guess we're just gonna have to bank on the generosity and kindness of the delivery person today. This is giving me like flashbacks to teaching at five in the morning. Have any of you been here since then? If so, thanks for sticking around. I think I'm gonna wait to get ready because I'm gonna work out after I have my coffee and some breakfast. Then we'll get ready for the day. So my mom is coming to town this weekend to help me with last minute things with the condo to finish getting that ready. We officially have renters. They're moving in on the 27th. So I'm leaving on the 26th. See, we're supposed to get the mattress today. We gotta get this place together within the next week. I'm moving out next week, which is kind of crazy. I'm trying to make plans with my friends here before I leave to see them. So it's also gonna be busy this week, just with like scheduling everything. The good news is I'm ahead of schedule with work stuff. <laughs> ready together and chat it's 10 o'clock i'm just gonna wait a few minutes before i start doing my makeup because i just put uh, moisturizer on i'm gonna take my hair skin and nails gummies for the day this video is not sponsored but i think my code should still be valid get you 50 percent off i'll put it down below if you want it this is probably gonna be long and i have a hard time multitasking and like doing my makeup and talking at the same time so we'll see how this goes so i thought we could talk updates and then i also was originally planning on filming kind of like an old school youtube favorites video for this channel of just like some things i've been loving lately not makeup not book related or anything like that just like random things maybe we'll just chat about them in this vlog honestly so the new products that i got almost all of them are from sephora except for two or like drugstore products that i got from target and then i'm going to use some of my other stuff that i already had i haven't tried any of this stuff yet though so i don't even know if i like it yet um, except for I already put on this. This is Glow Sunscreen from Supergoop. I saw this recommended on TikTok. And yeah, I've just been trying really hard to take, you know, better care of my skin. Especially as I'm getting older and I go on my walks every day and stuff like that. So that's, it's on right now. I don't know how we can tell. It did kind of make me a little bit glowy. I usually have a hard time with sunscreen because it'll dry me out. Especially like a tinted kind of sunscreen like this. It's SPF 40. But right now it feels okay. I also put my moisturizer on top of it. It's a chemical sunscreen, so you're supposed to put it on before the moisturizer. I just Googled that. Um, vegan, all the stuff that I like. So, so far, it's a win. I guess I lied. I did try one thing. I got this sleep lip mask that everyone's been talking about forever. And I tried that last night. 
I have the driest lips in the world. And being in Colorado where it's super dry does not help. I'm gonna put a little something on these guys to sit while we chat. I don't know what's going on with my skin either. I had like, my skin was looking real good for a while there. And just like the other day, these three things appeared. What did they say? Like it takes a certain period of time for whatever you've been eating to like manifest in how your skin looks. And like, that's how long it takes for your body to like make new cells or whatever it is. I can't remember, I'm not a science person, but it was an interesting fact. So I feel like this is the um, result of my trip to Portland because I did not eat like usual in Portland. I had a grand old time, no regrets, but I would not be surprised if my skin was not happy because of that. What was I saying? The lip mask. <laughs> You're also about to see my ADHD mind at work all over the place. So, um, so far so good, I like it. I've tried a bunch of other lip masks before. None of them really helped. This is the first time I've like woken up and my lips like genuinely felt a difference. Like I've literally been to a doctor to try and get help because I was like, had such dry skin and such dry lips and stuff as a teenager. And you would think that's because I'm like dehydrated or something, but I'm never was. I, my, the running joke in my family is I drink like a fish. I drink so much water. Sorry, I'm trying to find something and I can't figure out where they are in here. Anyway, long story short, if this helps me, it will help you 100% if you have anywhere near as bad of dryness as I did. The problem is now I've disrupted my usual routine so I don't even know what I'm gonna use. So first things first, this is gonna be interesting trying to talk to you about like updates while also talking to you about the products. So the products looking like a beauty guru. I got the Hollywood Flawless filter from Charlotte Tilbury. Almost all of these I got the mini size for so I could just try them to see if I like them. So this is supposed to be like a dewy primer, basically. It's like super sheer, no coverage or anything like that. But it's supposed to just like be a good first layer before you do the rest of your makeup. Am I supposed to like, I should also warn you in advance, I am not any good at makeup. I feel like I was at one point in my life, probably when I was like 16, but I feel like I probably haven't evolved since then. So um, I'm aware. I'm also still in the hunt for a new foundation and a new mascara if you have any recs for me. I feel like I had so much to update you on and now that I'm sitting here to talk about it, I'm going blank. So I already told you we're getting the mattress today, hopefully. I also saw I'm supposed to get something else in the mail that I'll unbox for you if it gets here. Renters are moving in the 27th, so I'm driving up to see my parents and it's gonna spend my brother's birthday with him. Oh, that's something you can I can tell you. I really, really doubt my brother's watching this, but if you are, Matthew, go away. I'm surprising him with a kitten for his birthday, which usually I hate when people give pets as presents, but uh, I won't bore you. It's a long story, but. Speaking of pets, Maxine just threw up under my chair. Are you okay? She's the queen of hairballs. So I am looking forward to that going and seeing all of those kittens and not being able to get one for myself is going to be challenging for me. Okay, so this does make me a little shiny. Um, again, I always just like worry about how drying something's gonna be on my skin. So far, so good. We shall see. So I'm gonna use the concealer I've been using forever. It's just the e.l.f. camo concealer. I'm also not really going for full coverage kind of thing. I'm just honestly just playing around with the new stuff. So yeah, once I leave my parents' house for my brother's birthday, we're gonna drive straight to Oregon from there. My parents decided they wanted to come with me and help me with the move, so I'm really happy about that. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't like counting on that because it's gonna be quite the commitment, but it'll be nice to have their help and also have their car. So we have two cars I can stuff full of my things because I researched moving trucks and movie companies and everything. And I don't have that much stuff because I'm leaving so much of my furniture here. So it was just like so overpriced for the amount of stuff I needed in the moving truck, it was just, it wasn't reasonable. We're gonna try and move it all myself. We'll see if it all fits in the car. So the next new thing I got is from Milk and it's basically this little contour stick. I need to do my nails today too. I don't usually, I don't think I've ever actually done like a liquid contour. So we'll see about this. So I don't want anything too crazy. I'm not much of a contour person. I'm gonna do a little bit. I say that and I put it all over my face. I guess I'll tell you about the things 
of my favorite things until I can think of any more updates that I wanted to tell you. Oh, did I tell this channel that I finished the rough draft of the book I was writing, Bloodless Ties? So we're taking a break from that until the move is completed. I'm also taking a break from writing my pen name book because I decided I actually want to like outline it instead of just going with it. So we're just taking a break. I have been working on outlining it and stuff. So for the rest of today, I actually just have one client to copy edit that I'm doing right now. And I already got a little bit of work done with that. So we'll work on that a little bit. And then honestly, it's going to be a chill day. Getting three hours of sleep is already catching up with me. So I think I'm probably just going to end up I didn't want to use that for that. Why did I do that? I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to do some hippie stuff. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to read my books. I'm going <laughs> to just relax, honestly. Okay, so favorite stuff. I have a list. I guess I'll link those down below too if you want to check them out. So the first thing someone asked me about this actually in a YouTube video are my new PJs. I don't know if you've noticed me. I've been wearing them in like a lot of videos. They're these like dark green satin set obsessed a little bit pricey definitely the most i've ever spent on pajamas in my life well worth it literally so so worth it probably my favorite thing i've purchased in a really long time they're from dynamite and i don't know maybe wait till they go on sale i love them so much i got the pants and the top they also have a shorts version and a robe and then come in all different colors obsessed so comfortable i literally like will wear pajamas all day long now because i don't want to take them off <laughs> next oh this heat protectant that i'm about to i'm gonna put my hair in a little bit it's from target i love this stuff it smells so good how well does it actually work i don't know ask me in a few months when i see all of the damage to my hair but honestly i don't use that much heat on my hair as much as i used to but it smells really good and it makes my hair feel healthy you know like the texture of it also my tarot cards i was doing that this morning i got them off of etsy and again a little bit pricier but absolutely love them i think they're gorgeous i definitely would prefer to support a small business that way instead of getting them on amazon I really, really like mine. Hey, Max. Oh, yeah. So this I've talked about a few times before. I got a Kindle Paperwhite around Christmas time, and I've never been an ebook reader, honestly. But that's because I used to try to read ebooks on my iPad, which has like the same kind of blue light as your phone. So I just felt like I was going from looking at a screen all day with my laptop or my phone to reading at the end of the night with that and it just felt like too much screen so I just like never wanted to read that. The Kindle Paperwhite, so it doesn't have the same kind of screen as your phone or your laptop or anything, it doesn't have that same blue light so it's easier on your eyes and it just doesn't feel like I'm reading on a screen, you know? So it's been very convenient to read my um, library books and my Kindle Unlimited books on there and then i think you guys know if you've been staying caught up on the channel the next thing is kombucha <laughs> i have been consuming it like my life depends on it i don't even know why the brand rowdy mermaid i really like if you don't care about it being healthy because it has some added sugar if not what is that well this is empty but this one was pretty good this flavor the synergy is the um yeah, this is the brand I usually get. You can find it pretty much anywhere. Grocery store, Target, wherever. I also ordered some off Amazon a little while ago. And it surprised me how good they were. Because I wanted to just get like a pack of a ton of them. Because I go through them so quickly. Okay, so you guys know I've also been on my puzzle kick. Oh, I forgot to show you stuff. So this is brow glue from NYX. And this is a brow pen from them. Target. I'm really bad at doing my eyebrows. I feel like the shape just like doesn't fit my face. But honestly, I don't really know how to fix it. I really don't know. So then I also got this Rare Beauty highlighter. They were out of the color that I wanted. So I ended up getting this like rose gold kind of thing. Thinking maybe it could like double as my blush. We shall see. So puzzles. Been super into that. 
There's one brand in particular I've really been enjoying. I just feel like the quality is really nice and they have a good selection. So if you are at all interested in puzzles, I can't remember the name of the brand off the top of my head, but it'll be down below. They also have like a good mix of the puzzle pieces are different shapes and stuff because I found that something that really annoys me when all of the pieces are the same. I have, I'm gonna say three of their puzzles now. The 500 piece one, I really enjoy. The 1000 piece ones are hard, like, genuinely challenging this is pretty i like that and then lastly i got a chirp wheel a while ago it's basically like a yoga wheel kind of like a foam roller to crack your back and it has like a little indentation for where your spine goes so it can like really get in there between your shoulder blades oh my god <laughs> i literally put this in my suitcase and take it with me when i travel because i can't live without it for a single day i'm obsessed I don't even know how much it costs. I don't even care. Was worth every single penny. I use it every single day, multiple times a day. It's amazing. I think it was on Shark Tank. Maybe that's what convinced me. I love Shark Tank. This is really pretty. I like this a lot. Yeah, we're not gonna do blush with this too. So I don't have a new foundation that I wanna try. So we're gonna just use um, my e.l.f. stuff, which I don't like. It does not last and it gets like patchy and not good by the end of the day, but we're working with what we have. So in addition to getting renters in immediately for march they're staying march april they're leaving at the end of june june 30th so we now have some people who are interested in taking it from july 1st until i want to say the end of september so this is really good news it would be really nice if you know we had the place rented out and i didn't have to worry about it while i was gone because i would not last long being able to pay for my mortgage here and my rent out there despite downsizing to a one bedroom out there and this being a two bedroom my rent out there is more than i'm paying here but i didn't want to sell this place i just feel like real estate is such a good investment so even if i'm not making much of a profit from these renters honestly i don't really care i was just trying to cover my mortgage i think it looks like depending on utilities and internet because i'm going to be supplying both of those i was probably going to net like a profit of maybe $300 a month or something like that. So nothing too crazy, but also nothing to um, complain about. Covers the costs here and covers my parking <laughs> at the new place. But again, I just, this home has already gone up in value if you care about real estate so much since I bought it back in 2019. Like if I sold it today, I could probably get an additional like $70,000, which I mean, would be nice for moving costs and stuff. But I feel like the story that like really <laughs> stuck with me about the value of real estate and like holding on to it is my grandparents because uh, my mom's parents, they're the ones who live up in the mountains. They lived in a trailer, like a mobile home, all of my mom's life until she was a senior in high school. And then when she was a senior in high school, they bought their first house and they were so excited. They were in Carbondale and I want to say they paid probably like 70 or eighty thousand dollars for the house at that time lastly we're going in with laura mercier translucent powder and they sold it i want to say i was probably in middle school maybe in high school and they sold it seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars seventy thousand dollars is what they bought it at and then they could sell it for three quarters of a million dollars and it's a small tiny little house carbondale has obviously changed a lot since way back then that's just crazy to me so anyway the thought of selling this place after only having it for two and a half years if we can find another way to make it work and keep it just seemed kind of silly if it doesn't work out it ends up being a problem we have trouble finding renters down the line we can revisit it but it just i also kind of like the idea of keeping this place i don't ever see myself living here again but i do see myself like coming back to visit my friends and visit my family and stuff so it, it's just kind of nice to have a place here you know god i feel like i had something else to update you on and i really just can't remember so i don't know if i talked about it over here i definitely talked about it on the main channel i'm doing an experiment for book marketing right now with my tiktoks and instagram reels and i'm filming a vlog of it i'm doing it for like at least a month and i'm gonna you know go through all my findings and stuff so that's been i feel like i started that maybe the beginning of march somewhere around there 
and it's been so interesting and so enlightening and i have so much to talk about so the video is gonna end up being so freaking long if i include the vlog of everything in addition to all of the stats i want to go through and all of the findings so i guess i'm wondering um if this is the video you're gonna watch when i post it in probably midway through april or something would you have a preference between a long long video that includes everything we're talking probably at least an hour long or split it up into two parts one part being the vlog and then one part being separate and being the um findings you know i forgot i used pink eyeshadow before this and it was still on the brush and now my eyeshadow looks pink and this was not the intention but we're gonna go with it i suppose i did take some books to the secondhand store to sell again yesterday i just like did another sweep and i have never i've sold books there so many times had them tell me it's gonna take one to two days and that's what they told me so they'll text me when they're done the longest they've ever told me is like two hours so i was like prepared i went in the middle of the day on a monday or tuesday thinking like oh they won't be busy there won't be a line it'll take like 20 minutes i'll just like browse and then they'll be done two days two days <laughs> So one of these days I'm gonna have to go back and I have so much store credit built up from selling all of these. I could take the cash, but they offer you more in store credit than they do in cash. I'm gonna go and spend all of my store credit on a couple of books. They also sell new books there and I've had my, and like merchandise and stuff. And I've had my eye on a few things there. I've just been waiting until I finished taking all of my books there so I knew how much store credit. I'm gonna have like over a hundred dollars in store credit. Okay, that's it. I don't really know how well you can tell how it looks. Does the light help make it worse? I don't know. We'll see how it like holds up throughout the day. I feel like it looks better on camera than it does in person to be honest, but that might just be because I've used products that I don't like in addition to them like my um concealer and foundation and everything so if you have any recommendations feel free to let me know however I do really like this highlighter I like the lip mask for sure I like the sunscreen I like the new brow products what else did I get the powder seems to be fine um well again we'll see how it holds up I like the contouring stick the only thing I'm not totally sure about is this flawless filter it definitely made me glowy but if that sunscreen's also making me glowy maybe it's like <laughs> too much i don't know first impressions though nothing feels like dry or anything bad we'll see how it holds up throughout the day so now i'm gonna try and knock out that client work we're gonna go set up camp on the couch with mr dean i've been re-watching lost so we're gonna put that on i can't i watched this like I don't even know how long ago the show came out in 2004 so i probably was in high school maybe but i never made it all the way through it i can't remember what season i stopped in i want to say like four or five i don't know i got like confused and lost <laughs> um <laughs> pun not intended in one of the seasons and then i just like never picked it back up so now i'm starting over from the beginning and i want to make it all the way through this time so we're gonna sit on the couch and we're gonna watch that and i'm gonna work on my outline for my pen name book edit this i also need to edit the vlog for patreon and i still need to do a little more client work but that's the plan for today i'm gonna end this vlog here thanks for hanging out see you in the next one <laughs>